Hey Jackals, I'm Simon and today we'll take a look how to make a quick and easy effect that you can also use as a hologram. Why? So just do it! That's why. Make now let's get digital. I've done all of these examples in the color page, so I'll just take a clip, this one, go into the color page. Now you can do this in two ways, as I found out. Simply go to effects. The first way, which is not obvious, is to use light rays. You'll want to change the output to source regions and the source of rays to edges. And you have an edge detect that you have to then play around with the settings. But the easiest way is to use edge detect. So simply reset the node grid, use edge detect. And instead of the RGB, we'll use a grayscale. And you can also do this in the fusion page, but I'll be doing this in the color page. Then we can make a serial node, Alt S, make a glow effect, make a new serial node, we'll do sharp edges, and then we'll add another serial node and make another glow node. Now we can simply turn all of these nodes off and make the changes as we go. So first let's adjust the edge width to what we want. Maybe something tiny like that. We can adjust the brightness and the gamma if you want to. So if you don't want to have as many bumps in the road, like in this example, you can lower the gamma or also lower the brightness in conjunction. Now if you use the edge mask overlay, this will overlay the edges over the original clip, but in this case I don't want that. Now I'll enable the glow. Now this is just a subtle difference, so let's make some adjustments. So let's say I'll use this first one to make horizontal lines and then I'll use the second glow to make vertical lines. So maybe something like that for now. We can also adjust the opacity if you don't want to have as a strong effect. And also you can change the color if you don't want this to be white. So something like that. Next we have sharp edges. Let's enable it. Now this will depend on the look that you go for and the clip that you use it on. So the edges pop a little bit out. And lastly, I'll enable the last node and I want now this to be vertical. So like that, spread the lines and I need to adjust the shine threshold. And I could also change the color of the light, but I'll leave it to default. But I can change the gain, as you can see. So maybe something like that. Now the clip is basically done. You can leave it as is. In case you have this awesome dude, I've made a hologram, so I'll just put him on. And I'll use the same scene. Now in this case, I'll just copy the effect that we just made. Control C, paste Alt V and select color correction. Now this is applied. Then what we'll want to do is open the inspector and simply change the composite mode to add. Now you have a hologram. In this case, the object doesn't fit inside where we want it to be. So I'll simply position him. Maybe something like that. Now we have an issue of this border showing up. And also what I didn't do, I didn't green screen, so I can do this now if I have to. So with this node selected, I'll right click on it, add the node and I'll add the serial node before it. Now if I need to remove the green screen, I'll simply use the 3D keyer and put it on. With this pipette I can select it and the effects turned on. I'll simply go over the green screen, which is something like that. And we also need to right click and add an alpha output. Now I'll simply connect it. And you can also move this node, the output node, like that. Now this is the look that you want, that's okay, but I only want to see what's inside. So I'll go to the power window, enable the rectangle. Now you can adjust the softness, I'll leave it as is. And I'll simply position these lines where they have to be, so something like that. So that's one way of making a hologram. Now to make the final touches so that this actually looks like a hologram, like in this case, 
I'll simply use this video clip, which was made with Practical Illusion. I'll leave a link to it down below. It is a free program, which is kind of limited, but if you pay for it, you will have all of the functionality. It basically looks like this. It has a bunch of effects and I've combined this effect and this one. As you can see here, and if I play it, it basically looks like this. I'll go more into it in another video, but for now, I'll just leave you with this video clip that I've rendered out. And what you want to do is to simply change the composite mode to add. And maybe then adjust the position and unlink the zoom so that you can separately adjust the X and Y values. So maybe something like that. Now I'll quickly show you how this effect would look on other clips. I'll use this yoga one, paste it and use the color correction. Now this is cut off because I have the mask applied. So I'll simply disable the mask like that and make a copy of this one. So I can show you in other video clips. Then we have this video clip. Let's see how this will look like. And lastly, I have this one. So it can look okay, but if you have a lot of edges, this may look a bit too much, like in this case. And that's it for this quick video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content. And until next time, Jackals, keep it digital. Okay.